about to talk about the latest COVID-19 news. Angelique Kemwani is watching the concerns over a fourth wave. And then, of course, there's this news out of France, another lockdown. Bring us up to speed. That's correct, Adam. We did just hear about France going into that uh, lockdown once again, and that sort of sets the tone for what health experts, including uh, the top health officials in the U.S., have been warning about. We heard this week alone from the CDC director, as well as all of last week, a warning against those slight increases that we're seeing around the country uh, and the concerns that that could lead to yet another wave. We know that uh, now we have that look back as well um, on the uh, 2020 overall death cases. The CDC just releasing a report today that said that COVID-19 accounted for was the third leading cause of death in the U.S. in the full year, uh, and, and that uh, deaths overall in the country increased by about 16 percent overall with that input. Uh, so really just, you know, showing just how much of an impact that has had. We know that we're, we're past and, and still increasing uh, beyond that 500,000 uh, mark uh, of deaths in the U.S., a really concerning number still. Meanwhile, we also got uh, some news out of Pfizer today with their results of adolescents testing that vaccine in adolescents 12 to 15 years old, showing a high efficacy. Some experts are saying that not to hold that number uh, into too much of a high regard, that 100%, uh, but just to note that it is high efficacy. The company said they're hoping to uh, submit that information to the FDA and have some results uh, and some approval to uh, roll out this vaccine to that age group by fall, by the start of the new school year. Anjali, we appreciate the COVID-19 update.